Yo, what's going on guys? Coach Joe, Garage De La Swole. In this video, I'm gonna be covering some home gym equipment items that are totally not necessary whatsoever, but I find myself using them a lot and I really enjoy them. They have multiple purposes and just kind of make training easier and more efficient. So I'm gonna rattle through the list of them and hopefully if you guys like them, pick them up if you don't have them or if there's something else maybe that you find is just phenomenal for your garage gym, definitely leave a comment down below. Long story short, we're moving in like a week. So the garage is very cluttered. I have stuff in storage. I got stuff in here. I have stuff other places. And I'm finally looking forward to kind of putting it all together when we finally have our garage gym uh, or our barn gym all set up with way more space, a little bit more versatility and more room. So gonna cut right to it guys. I got 10 things on the list. And if you like it, make sure you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. But let's get right to it. All right, number one, right off the bat, totally not necessary whatsoever, but I find myself using it every single day that I'm in here, is of course the giant pee, pee No, I'm kidding, definitely not that. It is fun, if you want one, grab one. No, but it's actually the whiteboard. So I'm a huge whiteboard guy, I'm a huge just taking notes, writing things down, and oftentimes when I'm in here training, I have an idea, and I just wanna throw it on the board, and then from there, maybe I'll put it in my notebook or something like that, but this is always being used every time we're in here. As you can see, I'm scribbling things away. It could be my workout, it could be notes, it could be video ideas. So if you don't have a whiteboard or chalkboard or something to kind of throw your training up on a board or ideas you have, I highly recommend it. This is one of many whiteboards that I have kind of just throughout the house. Super cheap, easy to put up, but highly recommend it. All right, so second one on the list, guys, is gonna be these mag grips. These are actually knockoff mag grips, and the cool thing about this is somebody sent them to me when I had the lion's den. I'm not sure where they got them from, but I know they're obviously not the true traditional mag grips because they don't have the yellow mag kind of writing or lettering on there, uh, but I use these things all the time. I love them, I have the full set, so we got like a regular grip, we got a more narrow grip, I have a closer grip, I got an extra wide grip and then a different close grip, uh, but these are great because you're getting to work a little bit more grip and forearm. Um, I just like the hand placement on these. It's a little bit more comfortable than a traditional pull down bar. Uh, only downside is you can't use straps or wraps when you're doing these, uh, but ideally I'm using them because I want a little bit more of a grip stimulus when doing different types of pull down variations. Uh, so if you guys have these, Hell yeah, if you don't, super easy. Uh, if you get the knockoff ones, I'm sure they're cheaper, but just a great investment to give yourself a little bit more of a grip and forearm workout while doing your back or pull down accessory work. So huge fan of these. We use them at least every single week um, or multiple days throughout the week, depending on our training. Number three is gonna be two collars that I use a lot and really enjoy. Now. You can use the regular spring collars. You can go on Amazon and get some cheapo collars or some really expensive collars. I'm gonna show you two of my favorite that are inexpensive and then expensive, uh, why I like them. So the first one is gonna be these Bells of Steel kind of thinner collars right here. Okay, they're, they're, they're great. I absolutely love them. Uh, but the cool perk about them is they are magnetic. So I just have them stuck on the rack at all times. I don't have to hang them up anywhere. They do really well with holding a nice tight grip on the barbell and they actually attach to the plates if they're metal plates, giving you a little bit more magnetic kind of tension or friction to them. Um, I think these are pretty cheap, you know, so definitely check these out if you want something. They're fun, you just throw them on there, you know, boom, you have them. Now another pair of collars, these are definitely more expensive, uh, but these are the Grip Genie collars. These are just fun to kind of throw on and off the barbell, they make a cool noise in the beginning, you kind of... It's almost like a magic trick if you see somebody use them and throw them on, um, but really like these. Like I said, a little bit more pricey, but I do use these a lot. They have better tension than most of the collars that I have here, so you're not gonna have an issue of these falling off or coming off if you're slamming deadlifts or uh, if you're you know, just afraid of any plates kind of pushing them off, like some of the cheaper plastic ones over time, you notice that the plates kind of bump them off, uh, but these are fantastic, so you can go check them out if you're interested. And uh, like I said, more of a premium for purchase. They do come in this really nice box, which I always think if they put them in a nice box, it, it goes a long way with just saying how they really care about their product. So collars for the win. 
All right, next on the list, since we're already here, I'm gonna go over it, and this is the Seal Row Bells of Steel pad. I freaking love this thing. I use it all the time. It's very versatile, it's easy, it's cost effective. It goes on most racks outside of the Bells of Steel Hydra Series racks, uh, but I like it because the build quality, you get a nice sturdy pad here. You have one pin that you can adjust the height in which you wanna put the pad. Uh, but this is great because in the past I've had to set up all sorts of different contraptions with benches or blocks to get a true seal row or chest supported row. So with this, it's got a small footprint. I just throw it on there and I can bang out chest supported rows or I can do seal rows, whatever. Uh, my fiance also will use it. She'll sit on it and do like leg extensions. So there's lots of other ways you can use this and like i said for the price point and the build quality i highly recommend it just a nice little feature uh, that you can get a lot done with all right moving on the list we got my infamous rice bucket so i made a whole video on rice buckets how to use them why i like them check it out if you haven't already this thing super cost effective just go out find whatever cheap rice you can find in like a you know 15 to 25 pound bag get yourself a home depot bucket probably have one laying around the house I use this thing multiple times throughout the week. So if you're somebody who's looking to work on your hand strength, grip strength, forearms, uh, kind of working out some issues with the elbow, whatever, super easy. It's always in here. People are always using it. So highly recommend it if you don't already have one and that's something of your interest. All right, so next one on the list, guys, is gonna be the Grip Genie Karate Belt. So I actually helped Grip Genie in designing and promoting this idea. I was actually using my own jujitsu belt, so I figured out what would kind of be the right dimensions, how we can use it. They're very popular well, with some sort of strap for arm wrestling training, uh, but this is very versatile. So I can use this if I wanna do grip work or if I wanna do something like curls, right, hammer curls, I can set it up on the cable stack where we can do face pulls, push downs, whatever. If you wanna loop it around a sled, you always have this, it's just great. It's super cheap, uh, but like I said, highly versatile and something that I use a lot, whether it's for exercises or warming up. Um, great to throw in your gym bag, but highly recommend grabbing one of these for all the ways that you can use it. All right, next item, guys, is gonna be the Bells of Steel Bulgarian Split Squat Attachment. I use this a ton, I like it, and a lot of people that I train like it as well. For whatever reason, I know you can use a bench to do these. Uh, there's also some other equipment pieces that are similar to this. However, they're pretty dang expensive. So for the modularity of this, attaching it to whatever rack you have at your house, I really like it for the price point and also the quality. It free spins, which is nice, so it kind of rolls uh, nicely with the crevice of the ankle when doing them you can adjust it to whatever height you want Which is great if you're somebody that you know you're working with is tall and then you have somebody short You can just easily adjust the height uh, But this is great and like I said super modular and for whatever reason it's totally not necessary But I do find that a lot of people like using this style uh, And format for the Bulgarian split squats instead of a regular bench press just more comfortable for them And like I said, you can adjust the height so highly recommend picking up one of these and just adding it to your rack uh, whenever you want to do them or knock some split squats out. All right, next on the list, guys, we have fat grips. I've talked about these in my grip training or grip equipment video. Super easy, cheap, small, throw them in your gym bag or bucket or in your garage gym. I just love these because of how easy it is to get extra grip work in with whatever you're using. If you want to put on the barbell, you want to put them on dumbbells, whatever. Just gonna challenge your grip more, so you're gonna be working on your forearms and your hand strength. Like I said, these are cheap, easy to find. There's different companies that make them. I do think that the Fat Grips company has just done such a great job with their build quality on how well they work. You can get different sizes in diameter as well. It's kind of the traditional size of Fat Grip. Uh, but if you don't have these and you're someone who's looking to just increase your grip strength or make things a little bit more challenging on yourself, definitely pick up a pair of Fat Grips. Okay, another item coming close to the end here. If you're working out in a garage gym like me, I don't have heat, I don't have AC. So in the summertime, it's hot as balls, it's humid, so I'm drenched in sweat. I really enjoy this Grip Genie towel. The cool thing about this is the material absorbs sweat you know, very quickly. It's almost like a golf towel material here. And then it also has a magnet. So boom, I can throw it right on there. If I need to wash it, I can easily unbutton it, throw it in the wash, whatever I have to do but I always find myself before sets or after sets 
just grabbing this, you know, wiping my face off, hanging it back up there. It's easy to find and know where it's at. Pretty, you know, cheap as well. Um, better quality than just a regular gym towel. Like I said, none of this stuff is necessary, but it just makes my training a little bit more efficient. And these little tools I just find are fun. Now, shout out wasn't on the list, uh, but it's right here. Might as well talk about it. I got a bunch of these Masonomic uh, drink spotters. So these easily fit into whatever you know hole that you have for the rack. You can throw your drink in there. I have a magnetic one over there that slaps onto anything as, uh, that's magnetic as well. So you can hang you know uh, your drink in there. I put my remote in some of them. Sometimes I have ammonia in them. Um, but just kind of little easy little things to have that you can throw around in your home gym setup just to have some fun and make it a little bit easier on you so you're not forgetting things or wondering where you place certain stuff. You get kind of used to identifying where the items are and putting your things there. All right guys, last one on my list is going to be the small deadlift jack. Okay, I do have a full size one that's in storage. This one's nice because it's tiny. Okay, so it fits the footprint if you have a garage gym and it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to load plates on the end of a barbell. In the past, I've either had to pull up the whole end, you know, try to get a plate on, which is just tiring and can sometimes actually cause issues, right? Because you're not used to just kind of picking up that heavy weight super fast. So I've had a little bit of lat strains when I've done that. Or in the past, I would just take like a five or 2.5 pound plate, put it under the main plate so it kind of bumps it up. But it just takes time. It's a little bit frustrating. So this thing's super easy. Just slide it under, push it down jacks up the bar, you can throw plates on, doesn't take a ton of energy, a little bit more efficient and it's faster. So if you can get a smaller one, I don't really care where you buy it from or who makes them, uh, but I just find that this is just a great item to have. And a little short story, I remember when Juji came to the Lions Den at one point, he was baffled that I didn't have a deadlift jack. And he said, if I could you know, give you one recommendation of something to pick up that'll make a world of a difference for your gym, it would be getting a deadlift jack. So. I got the small one and I have a big one to use. So if you guys don't have one of these, highly recommend them. They're gonna be life-changing if you haven't used one in your training, you're wondering why didn't I have this before? So there you have it guys, that is the video. Like I said, these are just 10 items that I use a lot. They're totally not necessary whatsoever, but I think it would be beneficial if you did have them based on your training and your footprint. I'm in my two car garage right now. so. You guys have seen me have a full 5,000 square foot gym, which you can watch those gym tour videos. Uh, and then moving into here, I had to be very selective on what equipment I could use to get the most done as possible. Now moving into the new house where we're gonna have, you know, uh, roughly around a thousand square foot barn gym, I can put a lot more stuff in there, maybe have some tools or equipment that weren't super necessary in this space constraint and with my training, uh, but, for what we have going on, maybe it fits your guys' builds for your home gyms. I love equipment, uh, but I also try to figure out what's the most efficient, what's the best bang for my buck. So if you liked it, obviously pick up some of these pieces of equipment. If you can't find them, you know, put it in the comment section. I'll send you guys a link. If you have ideas, put them down below. I'll be very interested to see what you guys come up with and maybe I'll acquire more as we're moving into a future space. But really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe. I got a lot going on, so it'll be fun to document the new changes uh, outside of you know moving and getting a barn gym set up. I'm also going to be having a kid. So uh, Jordan, my soon-to-be wife, is uh, about six and a half months pregnant. So we have our son being due uh, in October. So lots of really awesome things in the works here, trying to stack up some collaborations before the baby comes. Uh, so just appreciate your guys' patience and looking forward to all the really cool new things that we have coming. So until then, guys, stay a lean, mean, strength, health machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.